All right, here's how to get Swift to XNA from GitHub and open the test files. First, go to Swift to XNA on GitHub. You can find that on Google. Um, you'll notice there's a wiki section in there, and in there you can see what you need for getting started. You install C Sharp Express and the XNA fr game gaming system. Um, here's some of the uh, an overview of all the different projects in there. Some of them related to Swift to XNA, some of them not. There's uh, files about the the actual format in there and um, also uh, an explanation of the different samples that you'll see. Um, then that goes from 3D stuff to flash animation to box 2D. Okay, to get the actual source, click on the download source file on GitHub and um, you can choose zip or tar format. Um, once you have that, you'll need to extract it to a, a directory somewhere and this is the entire project. Um, so it'll have all the different projects, including XAML projects and SVG projects. But what we're concerned with here mostly is the Swift to XNA and, of course, the Swift format stuff. Um, extract that somewhere, and then um, uh, the root of all those projects will be an SLN file. That's a Visual Studio solution file. This is made in Visual Studio 2008 Express, which is a free program. You can download that um, as detailed in the wiki. Once you open that, the project you're probably most interested in at first is called V2D Tests. Um, just quickly make sure that all your references are available. Um, they should be, but um, that has been known to be tricky. There's references in an XNA project both in the main project and also in the content from the content pipeline. And um, for Swift to XNA, uh, the Swift conversion is actually done through the content pipeline, so it's important that those are correct. Um, you'll see there's a test game there, and and uh, that actually loads all the different types of screens we have in the in the samples. Um, and then once everything kind of checks out and there's no errors, just hit the run file, which is the the green arrow, and that will start building it and uh, create the release of of it. That will take a little while to build. At first, we've skipped over that part a little bit here. But um, initially, when it creates all the Swift files, it has to parse them. The second time you build, it will be much quicker. Okay, here's a distance joint example, um, a revolute joint example, and these are going through the different um, joints in Box2D. You'll see you saw some flash animation there. Here's a gear joint. Things that go back and forth uh, are called prismatic joints like this. Um, they follow along a line. And here's a pulley joint. You'll notice that the debug draw is on in this. That's very useful sometimes. It's done on an attribute at the top of every screen file. Here's some flash animation of a guy uh, sneezing. And you'll saw there briefly some 3D objects. This, of course, is a 2D Swift uh, converter, but that doesn't mean you can't actually put 3D objects overlaid or underlaid on there. And that works fine. With the space bar on these demos, you will see that. Here's some. Uh, here's just a bunch of different things: prismatic joints, revolute joints, um, and a bridge. And of course, you can skip through these examples using the arrow key, arrow keys on your keyboard, going back and forth. And now we're back at the distance joints.